Hey ladies, I wanted to talk with you about audacious belief through the storms and the power of declarative prayer. And the reason this is so important is because I was in converse, I am in conversation doing what I can to support somebody that's going through a really challenging uh, storm. Just one of those seasons in life where it feels like um, e like <laughs> everything is happening all at once, right? Uh, I, and I have been there <laughs> in the past. And or, you know, when I think of everything is happening at once, meaning like things are going on in your business and things are going on in your personal life that are either unexpected or just hard. Like life is hard. It is not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. And... I want to not minimize the challenge in that. If you hear that in me in any way, it's simply not, um, not with intention, but from a place of just having gone through so many storms, so many unexpected, so many moments where I had the opportunity to think like I never would have expected that or, or whatever the case may be, or how, how will this end up or how will I get through this season or what I've just had so many different opportunities at this point, both personally and in 15 or 15 <laughs> projecting 13 years of being an entrepreneur to the more you go through them, the more you uh, build a like your your base level tolerance. Good morning. Your base level tolerance. Um, hold on. <laughs> Nico and another dog. Um, your base level of tolerance is raised. And so therefore what was a really, what was a big deal. And I would have re reacted to a certain way 13 years ago is like a blip on my radar now, if that, right. <laughs> a lot of times it's not even recognizable. So, um, and, and there's still things that will, you know, come up and, quote unquote, rock my world for a moment type thing. And I will tell you this, that what I have learned, and it's definitely hard to apply, but that is this, this understanding of having just audacious belief, meaning like it should be delusional that you are continuing to claim God's promises, continuing to claim his truths, continuing to see what is not seen, whatever the outcome is that you're looking for, whether it be in your business or your personal life, right? The vision that he has planted for you and or if you're in a season where you can't quite see the vision or you're not sure um, what that next step is, like what is the last thing that he told you? What is the last thing that you were certain of? It doesn't mean that the storm came up and, and gets to disrupt that. It means that the storm is part of the process. So navigating the storm, I will tell you the best thing you can do for yourself to, uh, you know, navigate through it. I want to say effectively, efficiently, uh, with the, the best odds of a greater level of peace doesn't mean you're going to be like feeling peace all day, every day necessarily, but you are going to be better positioned to navigate the storm when you choose audacious belief, when you choose like delusional belief, delusional belief, meaning like somebody else could be looking at your circumstances and being like, why are you so <laughs> joyful? Right. And it's the, because the reason for that is because his word tells us to do that. There are so many promises that say he works all things out for our good. There are so many promises that say um, to focus on what is good and what is lovely. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Uh, be anxious for nothing, but in all things, it, it, in prayer and supplication, give thanks to God and he will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. And I will tell you that I am so grateful that I've been through some of the craziest things in my world or my definition, right? And yet have been able to hold on to his peace, like almost to the point in it, but it took time to build and the, it took time and at least for me, it took time and opportunity. Remember I'm, you know, 20 years into my walk, a lot of, um, a lot of opportunities to practice this. And that is the, 
and so it took time for me to get there, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely possible to be in the midst of like the most craziest, unexpected, hard, heart hurting, um, all the things I got to pull Nico up from rolling in something. He, uh, loves to roll. He was about to roll in mud. Sorry about that. Um, and you can still carry that peace that surpasses, right? And it is this idea of, if I were to reverse engineer it, it, it is the choice to have audacious belief. And you must be, you might be thinking like, that's so hard. How do you do that practically? It becomes an opportunity to catch every thought as it is coming up and realize that that, okay, that's a thought, right? It doesn't, your thoughts don't have to become things. Your thoughts don't need to become emotions. Your thoughts aren't even always what is, what is real. It's just a thought. And so being able to take thoughts captive and observe them like, okay, I'm having that thought. I'm going to choose a different thought, (laughs) right? I acknowledge that thought. I'm going to choose differently because what if it is different? What if it is, um, you know, an amazing outcome. What if like today is the day, right? Uh, Joyce Meyer, I think gets, says, talks about getting up and, um, saying like expecting something good to happen, which is biblical, right? Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let it, let us rejoice in it. Uh, and when we do that, there's also science behind this. When we do that, you are going to be better positioned to see opportunities, to see positive or to see the lesson within it. And that then allows you to make choices that are going to help you navigate the path faster. The, the thought that comes to mind as I'm talking is the idea of being in this, doing what you can, right? To continually um, bring yourself back, right? It's not that you're gonna have a, not going to have a bad moment. It's not gonna be, it's not that you're not gonna have um, a moment of feeling frustrated or angry or sad or what have you feel the emotion and also like I was saying I think it was yesterday um, don't marinate it right it's it's don't stew in it don't hold on to it longer than you need to process through the emotion notice the emotion understand what is coming up give yourself grace um, and and decide what you need in that moment and also then recognize that a lot of our thoughts are, are projecting what is to come that has not happened. There are assumptions and or their thoughts that don't serve you. And so when it's a thought that's not serving you, that's when you're taking that opportunity to take it captive and take it against God's word. And so when you're in the midst of a storm, it may be every few minutes you're getting the opportunity to take to recognize some sort of thought and take it captive right it may be that you're getting the opportunity to practice that every hour every 10 minutes one of the hardest seasons um in my life several several years back now probably i don't know 10 years ago um I was in, I was in a season where I just was like, I couldn't, I didn't have the level. I wasn't able to access the level of peace. I wasn't able to access the level of, um, like understanding that I am now. And, uh, and there was something, you know, incredibly just, it, it was practically speaking also life changing and I unexpected. And, and I, remember, um, confiding in a a girlfriend that is an amazing woman of the Lord also, and just having a conversation with her one day. And I was just like, I, I just don't know how I like can do this, right? All this, it was a personal matter and I was, uh, running the business. The business was fairly, uh, new at the time, couple years in, sorry, I'm walking down a hill with Nico. Um, couple years in and and so I like you don't have a choice in those situations plus you know single mom um and so you don't have a choice in those situations you you get to well you always have a choice I take that back see I'm still learning to catch my catch my words but you do have a choice but 
you know, my choice is I don't want to end up on, you know, letting people down and, and all that kind of stuff. So my choice needed to be, I wanted it to be to show up for everybody else, um, including my son and I'm the provider, right? Uh, so it's that choice to, um, try and find a way. And so I'm sorry, my point is, is that when I was in that season and I was just like, it just was incredibly difficult emotionally. Um, and you know, and then be in a position just to kind of give you some perspective where I wasn't online. So, uh, really being emotionally vulnerable and, um, not, I want to say not stable, not really in control of my emotions because I was just feeling so devastated by what was happening. And, uh, my girlfriend said, you will do this five minutes at a time. And that was a long way to get to that explanation. But I want you to understand that again, I get it. And also I promise you, sister, there is another side of it. And I promise you that like I was saying, the more that, that the more the events happen, the more the events take place, the stronger you become. And I can tell you firsthand, every circumstance, come on, Nico, every circumstance, um, or situation God has used. And so whether it's circumstances that are out of your control, right? That, that, you were outside of you, but you like a loss in the family, but of course you're impacted by that. Or, uh, or it's something that you like, maybe you feel like you screwed up, right? That happens too. Regardless of what it is, his word is the same today as it was yesterday, as it will be 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. And so it just gives you the opportunity to really get a lot of reps in <laughs> is the thought that comes to mind is getting a lot of reps in, in terms of catching the thought, taking it captive, recognizing it, applying it against God's word. And also just deciding that it is a thought and that you can choose a new thought. And also understanding that when we operate from a position of doing our best to be in peace, to have that audacious belief, whatever it is, the last thing that he told you or the thing that you're believing for, right? If you have clarity in what you're believing for, but the storm or the circumstances is causing some sort of doubt or uncertainty, keep believing for that. Make it a daily practice to invest time in that belief, in that vision, Right? We go through this a lot in uh, Kingdom Fit Academy with some practical tools because this is part of the process for all of us in every aspect of life. And when you do that, then you are in the position to see opportunities. And this has been long enough, so I won't go into the details of that today, but this, the science behind it all ties back to the RAS system, reticular activation system, and... Uh, so, well, I've talked about it before. Maybe we'll do that one another day. But I love you guys. Bye for now.